to open a new Miller Lite Punch Top can, but you'll always get the same thing. A smooth pour with less glove. However you punch it, it's Miller time. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Great beer. right now most of that in Texas is tremendous many players have joined the ball club just to make sure that they are a part that they are closer to home some from Beaumont some from Houston Thompson deals the pitch is slapped on the ground to the right side by Otay is in the right field Brendan comes up throwing the throw to the plate is up the third baseline the throw to second is in plenty of time 
It's an RBI single for Aaron Bates, but on the attempt to go to second, he is thrown out. The Skeeters have a one to nothing lead for Clemens. RBI single for Aaron Bates. And it brings up Iggy Suarez. Iggy Suarez has done a tremendous job defensively for this ball club. He's not in there for offense. He's only hitting 211. Five homers and 26 rock ribbies. We do thank you for tuning in, for hanging in there on BridgeportBluefish.com. Perry Miles with you. The right-hander weighs in. Thompson delivers, and the first offering is inside. One ball and no strikes. So much adrenaline pumping through, not just the crowd, but the fans in the stands. Nobody. It appears that nobody is in the merry-go-round areas. The pitch is swung on and foul tipped at the plate, and it may have struck Rodriguez in a place that no person would like to get struck. He is on the seat of his pants waiting as the right-handed pitcher Brad Thompson makes his way back to the mound. Early on has really been the Achilles heel of this ball club as Erica Ventura makes her way to the home plate area. We will try to get you video as quickly as possible but the problem has been the internet connection much of the time. I believe the internet connection has been saved. We will try to get the video as quickly as we possibly can with Roger Clemens. We do have a backup in case to be able to provide those with the, with the video. And sure enough, it came through the help of a true set of Bluefish fans. Kevin and Brenda out of Connecticut, they have done a fantastic job. They were the winners of the Bluefish trip to Texas airline accommodations, hotel accommodations, and tickets for Friday and Saturday night's affairs. Next pitch on the outside corner. The count at one ball and two strikes. Suarez, if he reaches base, Octavio Martinez will get a shot as Thompson has his pitch lead outside. Two balls and two strikes. This is a beautiful facility. You have the Texas size scoreboard at center field. The Performance Mazda Picnic Plaza, which is full. The Insperity Picnic Deck, and the pitch is lifted in the air to deep left, but it's hanging high enough to where Joey Gathright makes the play just short of the wall for the final out of the frame. But the first run of the contest scores on Roger Clemens' return as he makes his way back to the mound. One to nothing, Skeeters at the end of two. You're listening to Bluefish Baseball on BridgeportBluefish.com. To do just that, brighten it up to illuminate and decorate. The exciting lighting ideas come from Valley Lighting and Home Decor. Your home becomes your showplace when you let it shine with designer lighting so distinctive, clearly a work of art. Valley Lighting and Home Decor is set to bedazzle you with glittering crystal chandeliers and lamps. Treasures abound in unique home accents, special touches, just the right things to bring your whole decor together. Because your home is not just what's inside the four walls, bright picture of Miller Light. To get themselves back into position again. Clemens waiting. He lifts the leg and fires on the outside but missed the corner. No call. The fans upset about that one. The count three balls and one strike. We do apologize for the technical difficulties throughout this time. We are trying to get them fixed. But at one point, we had the audio stream rolling. We tried to get the video. It was not, but we do have backup as the pitch is lifted foul down the left side. The count three balls and two strikes. And it's been a great time down in Constellation Field in Texas. So many Roger Clemens uniforms being used. So the Bluefish are taking action again. Clemens waiting against Jones. The next toss is served into deep left field, but hanging back there, having room and making the play just in front of the track is the quarter outfielder Steve Moss. Out number one on the line drive. It sets up Eddie Rogers, who has missed a bit of time due to back issues. We tried to get the camera to work, and all of a sudden it just did not function. We are doing the best that we can at this time on Bridgeport Bluefish Baseball. 
on the L7. Rogers moves in 274 on the year, seven homers and 50. Five RBI. He is one of the leading run producers for the Bluefish, second on the team in that category to the guy that has the most RBI period in Bluefish history. After this week, as the pitch is a swooping curveball in the inside corner. 0 oh 1. The way that he's pitching hits Bridgeport, it's as if he missed no time at all. Just a sensational pitcher. The right hander gears up, the pitch is swung on and set high in the air to shallow center. Can of corn, the yard, even though the Bluefish had done so twice last night. Next pitch, dives low on a split. Two balls and two strikes. Willie Upshaw aptly put it, saying it's very difficult to hit active. The next toss is swung on and grounded to the first. Gobbled up at the corner, put in field position and making the play. Aaron Bates as he steps on the back of the final out of the frame. A very large ovation, standing ovation for Roger Clemens. As he was off the field and very small as frames, the Bluefish are trailing one to nothing. And you're listening to Bridgeport Bluefish Baseball on BridgeportBluefish.com. We'll be right back after these words from our local sponsors. Stay tuned, my friends. Lunch. Miller Lite wants you to win the greatest weekend that never happened. The ultimate Vegas weekend for you and a buddy. Just collect Miller Lite taste points for your chance to win one of 100 Vegas trips being given away this summer for the big weekend. So grab Miller Lite and seize the summer at tastepoints.com. It's that easy, and it never happened. It's Miller time. No purchase necessary. Open to legal U.S. residents 21 or older. Void in California and where prohibited. Sweepstakes begins 5 and ends 8112. For details, how to enter, and complete official rules, go to tastepoints.com. Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Great beer, great responsibility. We welcome you back to the Bluefish Broadcast Network. Perry Files with you. As the Bluefish are trailing one to nothing. And Octavio Martinez steps up to the plate. He's followed by Ophelio Castro and Dominic Ramos. 9, 1, and 2 in the order for the Skeeters. It has been Brad Thompson on the hill much of this time. And he makes his way back to the mound for his third inning of work. A run on three base hits for the ball club. Meanwhile, it's been no hit runs on one base hit and no errors on the day for the Bluefish. Martinez steps up, moves in. A five to three put out for Castro in the first inning. He's done a tremendous job over the year for this team, taking in the place of Jimmy Van Ostrin. Castro was originally at shortstop and at second base early in the year to allow for the powerful Van Ostrin to take his cuts. Always more important to have that big bat in the order. The first pitch is big on the outside corner. No balls and one strike. First baseman Otani is well off the first base bag. The next pitch is a chopper right back to the mound. Snagged by Thompson. He's ready and flings to first. Two way. It is a one to three for Castro. And it sets up Dominic Ramos. So much hype, so much hoopla about Roger Clemens and what his comeback would present. Clemens on the day. Three scoreless innings and just one base hit. That's what he has done today. And he is aiming for a fourth scoreless inning. We do not see anybody warming up in the bullpen. Clemens almost seems to have an iron arm. The pitch is on the inside, but misses the corner as it forces Ramos to twist his front shoulder inside. The count one ball and no strikes. Ramos, 0-4-1, grounded out to third base. The big show tonight from Constellation Field, the 1-0. Fastball to the inside corner for a strike. One ball and one strike. Thank Chip's Family Restaurant for the sponsorship tonight and a few others we'll get to in a moment. The 1-1 is a check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Says the first place umpire, first base umpire, Jeff Dugmore. Cal one ball and two strikes. It's always about fastball inside, curveball outside, manipulating location and speed and having that opportunity to be able to connect the next pitch. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. 
says Jeff Dogmore for strike three. The inning comes to a close with Ramos furious, but there's nothing he can do about that as Thompson goes for a scoreless third. Roger Clemens going back to the mound. Three scoreless innings as he makes his way from the right side dugout all the way to back to the mound for his fourth inning of work. Will the Rocket be able to keep this up? Stay tuned. You're listening to Bluefish Baseball on BridgeportBluefish.com. We'll be right back. The best way to brighten up your home is to do just that. Brighten it up to illuminate and decorate. The exciting lighting ideas come from Valley Lighting and Home Decor. Your home becomes your showplace when you let it shine with designer lighting so distinctive it is clearly a work of art. Valley Lighting and Home Decor is set to bedazzle you with glittering crystal chandeliers and lamps. Treasures abound in unique home accents, special touches, just the right things to bring your whole decor together. Because your home is not just what's inside the four walls, brighten up your garden, your deck, and your pool area with outdoor landscape lighting. This is the season to invigorate, radiate, celebrate, rejuvenate. The brightest ideas begin here at Connecticut's largest lighting and home decor showplace. Illuminate and decorate at Valley Lighting and Home Decor on Chestnut Street in Ansonia, just a minute off Route 8, exit 16. We welcome you back to the Bluefish Broadcast Network. Perry Miles with Angel Flores. Bridgeport Bluefish Baseball is back. Perry Miles on the air as Roger Clemens aims for his fourth scoreless inning. The Bluefish hoping to have an answer to that as the Rocket makes his way to the mound. He has been lifting off every time. Fastball, one time, 98, 99 miles per hour. One of the greatest pitchers in the history of baseball. Red Sox, Yankees, Blue Jays, Astros. You name the team, he has succeeded. He even won a Cy Young Award with the Blue Jays, a squad that he led to a well above 500 record during the one season, but eventually bolted because he wanted to win a World Series ring. And sure enough, he won it with the Yankees, a team that for much of that time had the likes of David Wells, David Cohn, Andy Pettit on the hill every time. And then afterwards, it was the likes of Mike Messina and a few others that helped out. You go before that, Jimmy Key. It has been a rich tradition of Yankee baseball. Roger Clemens is a part of that. Two World Series rings for Raja. Next pitch is lifted in the air to left field, but it hangs high enough for Steve Moss. One away, line drive to left field for Bubba Bell as Jason Lane digs in. Lane today is 0-4, or rather, it is Prentice Redmond digging in. So Prentice Redmond today is 0 for 1. He was 0 for 1. And Gary Gaetti making his way to the mound to talk with Roger. Was this the original indication? Keep his pitch count down. And Gaetti is meeting at the mound with a whole bunch of the other players. And Gaetti immediately signals the end of the day for Roger Clemens. He indicated down the right side about a call and it appears as if he has taken the ball from Roger Clemens, a standing ovation for the Rocket as he makes his way out off the plate at two feet. What could be his final time pitching on the mound in the history of baseball. He tips his cap to the fans and will eventually have a celebration. Just a great pitching performance for Clemens. He feels like he can get it back. And this call to the bullpen quickly is presented by Prudential Annuities. Prudential Annuities going to bat for our community. What a way to end matters for the Skeeters. Three and a third innings in Clemens' return, and he almost looks as sharp as the day that he left in the American League Championship Series back in 2007. Boy, was it a great time to cover Clemens or what? And now the Skeeters will have to go to one of their other long relievers. I'm sure that there was a certain pitch count that Clemens said that he wanted to get to in order to return to the game of baseball. And there is a new right-handed pitcher on the hill. Not quite the same kind of crowd as many of them got up from their seats and went to the concession stands immediately as soon as they applauded him and lauded him for his performance. What a tremendous performance for Roger Clemens in his way back. 
and it appears as if it might be 6'2 Jeff Farnsworth on the hill. We'll have to wait for confirmation of that, or actually 6'4 Michael Nix on the hill. This call to the bullpen presented by Prudential Annuities. Prudential Annuities going to bat for our community. So Roger Clemens has pitched three and a third innings, and we will hope that we can provide you with as much coverage as possible about Clemens the rest of the way. But we have all of this archived on audio and also on video through camera, and we will be able to provide that footage courtesy of one of the truest Bluefish fans that there ever has been, a guy that has been here since the very early moments of Bluefish history, and his name is Kevin. Kevin T Tansky. So Kevin Tansky will be joining us on the airwaves at some point. He and his wife are huge baseball fans, especially Bluefish fans. They are even supporting the Bluefish by wearing the Christmas in July uniforms today. And that took place earlier during the summertime. Here comes a new day. It is Prentice Redmond digging in. Clemens Day is over. And this call to the bullpen is presented by Prudential Annuities. Prudential Annuities going to bat for our community. The first pitch is on the outside corner for a strike. No balls and one strike. No rousing ovation for Michael Nix. See, it counts the same as what Roger Clemens had had. His next toss is served out to the netting. No balls and two strikes. The spectacle may be over, but the fans are going to stick around for much, much more, which includes the rest of this game, which is still in reach for the Bluefish. Clemens, if he had continued, he could have gone a long way. But he decided to pitch three and a third, and the next toss is swung on and fouled off to the left. No balls and two strikes. Gets back to a normal baseball game, if you will. And it, you could, it was as if you were at one of those huge concerts, Aerosmith or Metallica or the Beatles, the O2, grounded, foul to the left. The count, no balls, and two strikes. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Bluefish broadcast, you can send me an email to perrym86 at gmail.com. We do apologize for causing any technical difficulties here. The reason why many of the networks have not been able to carry as the next pitch is inside the count, one ball becomes two balls and two strikes is because the internet connection did quite a bit of damage with all the reporters here, with all the spectacle that was Constellation Field. The next toss is served foul to the right. One ball and two strikes. It's very difficult to technically get a video stream. ESPN, if ESPN News is having a very difficult time running the stream, then it's nearly impossible to get that stream right away. The 1-2 is served high in the air to right field. Playable for the corner outfielder in Mr. Cesar. Two away. And so you would be able to see on ESPN 3, but the Bluefish were hoping to provide the video stream for the rest of the game. Unfortunately, that is not the case at this moment because there are too many cloggers, too many traffic holders. Think about the LA freeway or think about the cross Bronx in New York. Nobody ever wants to go through there because cars are lugging forward. There's always construction or accidents or forbid all those kinds of people traveling through. Next toss is outside. One ball and no strikes. Willis Otania is 0 for 1. A 6-3 to three put out. As the next toss is on the way from Nix, a fastball to the outside corner. Count one ball and one strike. You can tell the difference between a guy like Michael Nix and a guy like Roger Clemens. Boy, everyone was cheering for Roger. Not as many people are cheering for Nix. Pitches inside the count, two balls and one strike. The Bluefish may have a chance in this game to come back from that deficit. They do have a chance to come back. They're only down a run. The 2-1, swung on and lifted down the right field line. It is a base hit as it heads towards the corner. Rounding first and heading for second base is Willis Otanez. It is a two-out double for the first baseman as it sets up Luis Lopez. Lopez has done a tremendous job 
throughout his Bluefish career. He's faced Roger Clemens a whole bunch of times, but now it's up to Michael Nix. And situations become tougher and tougher. Only one Bluefish hit, and that came from James Simmons on a line drive stroke to right center field. Hey, who knows? Maybe Gary Gaetti made the wrong move by removing Roger Clemens in the fourth inning. You think it's coincidence? Come on. There was either a pitch count or a, an innings limit for Clemens. He was quickly removed. Nix deals, fastball, outside the count, one ball and no strikes. Nix has had his struggles. He was in the starting rotation at one point. And now he's one of the members of the bullpen before he was moved back into the rotation. The next toss on the outside corner. One ball, one strike, a 5.97 ERA, and 78 in the third innings for Knicks. 34 walks, 59 strikeouts, three wins and nine losses on the year. Drafted the Atlanta Braves organization in round 11, a 1-1. Fastball to the inside, corner of all and two strikes. It is just a modest applause at this juncture. But Lopez does not care about kudos or praise because he always takes it in stride. He's always humble about the situation. The one, two from the righty. Swung on and missed, strike three. Lopez goes down swinging, that ends the frame. The bluefish pick up a hit, but cannot. Dreamax of outrageous pancakery all day long. Want to win a trip for two to see Roger Clemens pitch this Saturday in Houston? Get your tickets to see the Bridgeport Bluefish play tonight, where you can register for your chance to head to Houston this weekend. Brought to you by Chips Family Restaurants in Orange and Fairfield. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, it's always time for chips. And by Valley Lighting and Home Decor in Ansonia, Connecticut's largest lighting and home decorating show place. Visit BridgeportBluefish.com. As Roger Clemens went to the hill, but we'd like to thank... Valley Lighting and Home Decor, along with Chip's Family Restaurant for their sponsorship. Two airline tickets, as well as two opportunities for hotel nights. Two hotel nights paid for, and a chance to see Roger Clemens. And sure enough, I'm sure they were not displeased at what they had seen from Roger at all. Brad Thompson now goes back to work. The next toss up, fastball outside. One ball and no strikes to Bubba Bell. He is followed by Jason Lane and De Dionis Cesar. The 1-0 from Thompson. The right-hander deals. Pitch fastball away. One ball and becomes two balls and no strikes. The third baseman, Luis Lopez. About halfway back. Righty versus lefty. The 2-0 on its way. Fastball outside. Three balls and no strikes. The Bluefish will undoubtedly be on video tomorrow. We were unable to get the video stream to go, but we do have this game archived from video and audio from every part of the game. You will be able to get to see it. The 3-0 is over the middle for a strike, three balls and one strike. And I'm sure that there will be some opportunity for someone out there to recognize what and how great Roger Clemens was on the hill today. The next pitch, swung on and missed. Three balls and two strikes. It may be the final time that Roger Clemens pitches in his career. It may be the final time that he pitches in the Atlantic League. We may see him in the future. It all depends on what he says on the mound. We wanted to see how things were going and we may have an announcement toward the end of the game as to what that speculation is as the pitch is launched out of play to the left. Three balls and two strikes. We thank you for tuning in tonight and fighting off everything. Fighting off video feeds, fighting off everything else. We're, we were trying to get through this broadcast. We certainly have with the appropriate audio and the video tonight on BridgeportBlutefish.com. Certainly playing the commercials every time. The 3-2 swung on and lifted foul to the netting. Three balls and two strikes. ESPN was definitely here for this broadcast, and we certainly thank those for tuning in to the broadcast at this 
evening. It was the largest broadcast sum of the people that had tuned in tonight on the audio as the next pitch is swung on and served to deep right center field. On the move is James Simmons, and he catches up with the baseball and makes the play where the UHV sign is located for out number one. Bubba Bell with a long, loud out on the L8 as Jason Lane digs in. The most number of people for audio that, that tuned in, the most number of people, period, that tuned in the entire season to watch Roger, to listen to live Roger Clemens. Of course, there were other outlets that were showing this game, and thankfully you tuned in to our broadcast to listen in for tonight's contest. It is the biggest ticket in town. Luis Lopez about halfway between the lip of the infield and outfield grasses, the shortstop is at the lip of the outfield grass. Next toss, check swing, did not go around the count, one ball and no strikes. Eight homers, 26 ribbies for Jason Lane. Righty versus righty. The next toss as he lifts his leg and deals, pitches inside off the glove of Rodriguez, two balls and no strikes. I'm sure that many of the players have a little bit less pressure on them now that Clemens is done with his event, but the fans, they're now here to watch the rest of this ball game. A great atmosphere at this venue. It is for sure gonna be one of the best places to attend in the Atlantic League for years to come. The 2-0 is smacked in the air down the left field line, and it is a foul ball as it falls a couple of feet to the left of the chalk. Count at two balls and one strike. Everything from the video and the audio on Roger Clemens, audio about one hour long. We still continue to record this broadcast, BridgeportBlueFish.com. Two balls and one strike. Two balls and one strike with one man out. The next toss is on its way. Fastball outside. The count three balls and one strike. One man out. Next pitch, ground ball to the left side. Stretching out his finger roll, but he's unable to make the play. He went to his right and tried to get the baseball, but was unable to do so. And can't imagine how Willie Upshaw and company will feel about that, but it is the first time that Eddie Rogers gets back. It's an infield single for Jason Lane as it springs. Dionis Cesar. Cesar, number 14 on the hill. For everyone's information, there will be a feature regarding Roger Clemens on XX1090 in San Diego. I will be interviewing for the Bluefish in regards to the way that Roger Clemens had performed and we will try to get you an update as to when you can listen in to that feature coming up. The next toss is on over the middle. No balls and one strike. Just so happened to have somebody who was very interested about Clemens and he certainly looked bright with all three of his pitches, especially that split. Nobody knows how that split's gonna be and has great amount of tear on the arm. It did not seem to be that way from Clemens. The next pitch tails outside. One ball and one strike. And he seemed to have c control he knew exactly where to pinpoint it. One ball, one strike with one man out. The runner at first base. Next toss, inside corner for a strike. Jason Lane did not budge off of first. One ball and two strikes. Not too much speed from Jason Lane. Even though he was an outfielder earlier in his career, he's more of a designated hitter these days. Similar to the way Matt Hagen might play. Except Hagen has to play a spot because otherwise he does not play. He goes to the left field. Next one is outside just off the corner at the knees. Two balls and two strikes. This is a wonderful ballpark. Atlantic League gem. Just got to see Roger Clemens out there. The Bluefish Broadcast Network would like to thank everybody for sticking in there. The 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball just high. Three balls and two strikes. This year, Cesar came a few weeks back and he's provided a little bit of defensive spark in right field. 
but his batting average are a little bit down. Many departures in the Atlantic League, the process into affiliated and Major League Baseball overseas. He throw to first, not in time. You look at the likes of Mike Lurie, who went overseas. Shane Newman last year. Luis Gonzalez from a few years ago. So many players being picked up. The runner goes, the pitch is swung on and missed. The throw to second, not in time. It is a strikeout. Credited to Thompson, but Jason Lane steals second base, and it springs Steve Moss to the dish. What a night at the ballpark. Got the introduction of Roger Clemens. Everybody was out to the infield and outfield, and then suddenly Roger Clemens immerses himself within a group of reporters just looking for his way to the mound. And I'm sure Sports Illustrated will cover it. The next toss is inside, one ball, no strikes. ESPN, the magazine, will have their eyes and ears out and possibly writing an article about the potential comeback for Roger Clemens. And Baseball America will certainly feature it, especially if it was on national television. The 1-0 swung on and grounded sharply to short, handled on two outs by Rogers. He flicks to first in time for the final out of the frame. The Bluefish give up a hit, but nobody scores at the end of four. The Bluefish are trailing one to nothing. You're listening to Bluefish Baseball on BridgeportBluefish.com. We will be right back after these words from our Google sponsors. Stay tuned. That brighten it up to illuminate and decorate. The exciting lighting ideas come from Valley Lighting and Home Decor. Your home becomes your showplace when you let it shine with designer lighting so distinctive it is clearly a work of art. Valley Lighting and Home Decor is set to bedazzle you with glittering crystal chandeliers and lamps. Treasures abound in unique home accents, special touches, just the right things to bring your whole decor together. Because your home is not just what's inside the four walls, brighten up your garden, your deck, and your pool area with outdoor landscape lighting. This is the season to invigorate, radiate, celebrate, rejuvenate. The brightest ideas begin here at Connecticut's largest lighting and home decor showplace. Illuminate and decorate at Valley Lighting and Home Decor on Chestnut Street in Ansonia, just a minute off Route 8, exit 16. We welcome you back to the Blue. The Clemens saga, the Clemens affair with... Baseball and independent baseball for tonight is over. But who knows, maybe he'll go for another start with the Skeeters. They will be at home for each of the next four days after tonight before they head back onto the road. And perhaps Clemens joins for one more start. Or perhaps Clemens is going to pitch once the rosters are able to expand to 40 men in the major leagues. All kinds of mascots in the ballpark, which includes this one garbage disposal taking care of one person in there walking around. That is un That has to be unusually comfortable with one of the garbage disposals. What appears to be a Pac-Man, a Pac-Man uniform, and spinning out the dots, if you will. There may even be a couple of individuals out there as Michael Nix gets ready for his final warm-up toss and finally escapes. And it appears as if there's one of the members of the Sugarland staff coming out of there with a tennis ball. The Bluefish, they need to hold serve. They need to extend themselves. Right now, they are trailing by a score of one to nothing. Clemens' final line, three and a third innings of one-hit baseball and he struck out a couple of batters today. Two pitch strikeouts and 37 pitches, and this was one of the epic games that you will see out there, the, one of the epic games that you will hear as Bluefish fans have tuned in today. Perry Miles with you on BridgeportBluefish.com, and we are glad to have you back. Michael Nix waits, he's ready. The first pitch is outside, the count one ball and no strikes. ESPN News and ESPN Classic, or rather ESPN Classic and ESPN3 were initially supposed to 
be covering the game they had for the period of time with quick live reads. The next toss is over the outside but misses the corner. Two balls and no strikes. And now it may be just an internet stream game between the Bluefish and the Skeeters, but these two teams are fighting for playoff spots. The next toss is lifted foul to the right. Two balls and two strikes. You'd hear the thud off the facade as the Bluefish were waiting. Simmons had the only hit against Raja in the second inning. And at some point there will be that press conference where I'm sure you will, if you, though for those of you who want to hear the game, you can certainly do that as the pitch is swung on and missed. Two balls and two strikes. Michael Nix has had a solid campaign against the Bluefish over the course of the year. And he's hoping for another scoreless inning. The 2-2 jam shot sent to the right side but angled foul. And perhaps that jolt of energy will propel Sugarland to even better things. You could tell the way that how Clemens is so confident at the hill and the way that he carries himself on the mound compared with the other batters. There is not nothing quite like it. And it, it's all body language. The pitch is a jam shot, a broken back ground in the third. Handled by the hot corner of Fidio Castro, the one for the first in time. Aaron Bates catches on the other side, one away. Five to three on the put out. That was a baseball towards the middle of the plate, but Simmons appeared to have gotten jammed or jammed himself. And as a result, Simmons records the out to spring Louis Rodriguez. Machetti has done a great job behind the plate much of his career. And this year is no exception. 261, eight homers and 31 ribbies. Bluefish, all they need to do is score one run. Will they be able to do it? From Constellation Field, the one out toss. Outside corner for a strike going one. The fans not applauding as much. They were, it was almost as if you were at a Friday Night Lights football game or a football game in general in the state of Texas. The 0-1, fastball to the outside corner, no balls and two strikes. Anyone that stays in Texas, not just for the high school career, but eventually for the college career, which Clemens had to win a college World Series. That's an incredible feat. He skipped out. He was a 10th round pick initially out of high school. The pitch is swung on and missed for strike three. Rodriguez goes down two away for the Bluefish. And Clemens, during that time, he had won the College World Series eventually went all the way up to close to a first round pick. As a matter of fact, he was a first round pick way back and won so many Cy Young awards. The, the results were in the writing by the time he got up there. Willie Upshaw even said he knew that Clemens was the real deal. He only in his second year in the big leagues. Next toss is lifted foul to the left. No balls and one strike. Kennard Jones is up at the plate. Done a solid job this year for the Bluefish. The next toss swung on and lifted in the air to shallow right field. It dunks in for a base hit and then it's bobbled as it sails behind. Cesar on his way to second is Mr. Jones. It is a single and an error, an E9 for Cesar and it sets the tying run in scoring position for the nine hitter and Eddie Rogers. What a night at the ballpark. The Bluefish had faced off against arguably the greatest pitcher in the history of baseball. Greatest pitcher in my opinion in the modern era. You can make the case for Greg Maddox. You can make the case for Randy Johnson. It's John Smoltz among others. But the Rocket is is the winning version, if you will, of Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan, during his career, barely kept his record above the 500 mark. Clemens won two-thirds of his games. Next toss, way inside and high. One ball and no strikes. Clemens will not be at the ballpark tomorrow, but he has already left his imprint on this team's history. First year of Atlantic League play, would he have selected Sugarland had they been in the Atlantic League or would he still have gone through with it the 1-0 fastball to the corner one ball one strike we thank everybody for tuning in to the Bluefish Broadcast Network 
Perry Miles with you. Nationally televised game as well. We were hoping to get this game on video stream, but internet connection not allowing us to do it at that point. The 1 1 is a bouncer towards third. Flag down, spin around. Castro throw to first is in time to retire the side. The Bluefish pick up a hit, but cannot score. As the runners left in scoring position at the end of four and a half, the Bluefish are trailing one to nothing. Stay tuned, you're listening to Bluefish Baseball on BridgeportBluefish.com. Come and join the Bluefish for a playoff motion 2012. The Bluefish have great options from picnics and birthday parties to harbor club outings and sweet leases. Invite your friends, family, or co-workers out to the ballpark for an exciting night of affordable family fun. Kids celebrating the birthday party at the ballpark will get an autographed baseball, a visit from BB to Bluefish, and much, much more, including a chance to compete in the best on-field promotions Connecticut has to offer. Don't miss out on the final home game of the regular season. Book your outing with the Bluefish today. Call 203-345-4800 to schedule an unforgettable day at the ballpark and other yard during the 15th anniversary season. And go to BridgeportBluefish.com. Bridgeport Bluefish Baseball. Get hooked. The best way to brighten up your home is to do just that. Brighten it up to illuminate and decorate. The exciting lighting ideas come from Valley Lighting and Home Decor. Your home becomes your showplace when you let it shine with designer lighting so distinctive it is clearly a work of art. Valley Lighting and Home Decor is set to bedazzle you with chandeliers and lamps. Treasures abound in unique home accents, special touches, just the right things to bring your whole decor together. Because your home is not just what's inside the four walls, brighten up your garden, your deck, and your pool area with outdoor landscape lighting. This is the season to invigorate, radiate, celebrate, rejuvenate. The brightest ideas begin here at Connecticut's largest lighting and home decor showplace. Illuminate and decorate at Valley Lighting and Home Decor on Chestnut Street in Ansonia. Just Welcome you back to the Bluefish Broadcast Network. Perry Miles with you as the Bluefish are taking on the Sugarland Skeeters. Right now, it is a 1-0 lead for the Skeeters. And I invite one of the people that competed for the right to come to Sugarland, Texas. And it is another, none other than my pleasure to introduce the winner of the Sugarland Skeeters competition to watch Roger Clemens, Kevin Tansky. Is that correct? Kevin Tansky, how are you doing today? Oh, very good. How, how's, your here. how's your experience? Well, it's been great. It's been absolutely great. Um, down here, uh, it's the first time in Texas and uh, not a disappointment. First pitch on its way is a fastball inside the cow, one ball and no strikes. It's been a wonderful experience to watch Roger Clemens firsthand. Never thought I'd have the opportunity of watching as a broadcaster. Watched plenty of Yankee games in the past. The right hander sets the next toss is lifted in the air to right field, angling towards the line is Prentice Redmond. He's trying to flag it down, but it goes way into the seats. One ball and one strike. When did you become a baseball fan initially? Initially, uh, 1973. Really? Yeah, back uh, when the Mets were in the uh, playoffs against the Reds. Who are you a fan of back then, the Mets? The Mets, yeah. And who is your favorite player on the Mets? Right now or, or in back, the past? Whenever. Um, all time? Doesn't matter. All time, probably Tom Seaver. Really? Yeah. The 1-1. One, one. Foul tipped at the plate, a ball and two strikes. What did you think when Roger Clemens threw the baseball bat towards the direction of Mike Piazza. Um, I was quite uh, quite upset <laughs> when I saw that. Uh, it was, um, you know, it was my team, and uh, you know, I was. I'm sorry, did I throw you off? <laughs> no. <laughs> but to see him pitch now is um, was was great. Um, to get this opportunity um, was like once in a lifetime type thing. So I'm happy for this through the Bluefish and through the uh, the Skeeters and. Um, I'm grateful. The next pitch was down low for a ball. Down at 
Two balls and two strikes. Right-hander weighs in and deals. The pitch is sent high in the air towards right center field. Pretty well hit. James Simmons towards the track, towards the wall, and makes the play close to the wall. That ball seems to be carrying a little bit better to right center than it was last night. You saw a couple of them from the stands. I see you're wearing the Christmas in July uniforms. Yep. Was there any reason why you chose those instead of the regular bluefish uniforms, the road grays, any reason? Um, we've been doing that for the past three or four years. We've been uh, supporting uh, the Salvation Army doing the, uh, the promotions at the ballpark. And uh, just uh, our, our daughters are have their favorite players, so we've tried to uh, get their favorite players' jerseys. A couple times we weren't able to because my daughter a couple years ago wanted Adam Greenberg. And right. she was outbid for that, and she was... Not too happy about that, but next pitch is outside the cow one ball and no strikes. And I'm sure you're also thanking Chips Family Thank Restaurant yes. and also Valley Lighting and Home Decor for their sponsorship of this event, which was phenomenal. Next yes. pitch is fouled at the plate, one ball and one strike. If you go up to the what it would be the equivalent of the Harbor Club at this ballpark, oh my gosh, it is. One, uh, one thing to see, it's almost as if you're in a major league Harbor Club area with all the TVs and the pitches lifted in the air to left field. It's a base hit. It dunks in front of Joey Gathright. Around the Canard Jones, he fields the ball in. So it's fielded in, and there may have been a replacement in the process. So a runner is on at first base Octavio Martinez takes in with one man out Martinez 0 for 1 when did you start supporting the Bluefish do you remember when your first game was um, that I'm not sure it was, it was the first year but I know it wasn't uh, the inaugural game it was sometime during the se first part of the season I'm not exactly sure when but it was, um, it was exciting because it was the first year and it was close by um, there was a lot of fan support then, and uh, it was it was fun to go. Next pitch was sent to right field, handled by the corner outfielder, Prentice Redmond, for out number two. What do you notice about this year's team the couple of times that you've gone? It's, to me, it's exciting and affordable family fun. Yeah. How about yourself? Um, basically the same. I mean, it's, it's easy to get to off, uh, off the Interstate 95. Um, no problems getting to the field. Um, parking is, is good. Um, people, We should get more people fan support. If there is one part that you want for the Bluefish, would it be a championship? Would it be... What else could you possibly think of other than a championship, possibly? And, um, and what you mentioned about. Yeah, championship would be good, and maybe um, if we get a couple of Big name, at least one. Or <laughs> big name player or would be nice to, to draw people. Um. Next toss was over the out the outside court for a strike on one, similar to the way that Roger Clemens was, huh? Right. Well, there are a couple that might might have an idea about it. Throw the first nine time. If Roger Clemens is thinking about coming back, mm -hmm. why wouldn't Pedro Martinez think about possibly mm -hmm. making that return? Just another Just, name out there, right? right? Pedro Martinez is a pretty big name. Mm -hmm. At one point, those five years, similar to the way that Koufax was, he made it to the Hall of Fame. Why not garner attention to Pedro? The 01 flattens low, one ball, one strike. Of course, there were a couple of connections within as well. Tal Smith, Gary Gaetti, they were close friends, closely acquainted with Roger Clemens, too. Helps. Mm -hmm. Pedro Martinez, not from New York City originally, from outside this country, Clemens from Houston. There's a, a stone throw away. One ball and one strike with two men out. Thompson on the hill. Bluefish trailing one to nothing. Seems as if Clemens carried over some of that karma to Michael Nix. Throwing some solid baseball. One one. Flipped inside, two balls and a strike. What amazed you about this ballpark, Constellation Field? Um, one thing was, it's nice that you're able to walk around the whole field, even to the outfield. Um, I was surprised to see a pool out there. The did, carousel. You, did you take a dip? Uh, I saw kids in there. I didn't want to disturb the kids. So, I didn't, otherwise, right. uh, Brenda might have thrown me in. Jaws 
in the middle yeah. of a aquarium with dolphins, right? <laughs> Next pitch is outside three and one. Jaws is going to win 99 yeah. times out of 100. <laughs> you have that occasional dolphin that uses its nose to prod at the shark to get away. and Maybe if it's a baby shark. <laughs> Three balls and one strike with two men out. Thompson delivers pitch. Uh, slapper foul. Watch out. Every game, I warn fans about the dangers of baseball. No matter what level. These are former AAA and big league players. But it ranges from the highest of quality players to those in the little leagues with errant baseballs, broken bats, even broken aluminum bats, what we've seen of late. Go figure. The day that we see that. Three balls, two strikes. Thompson weighs in. The runner goes, the pitch slides away in low ball four. Ophelio Castro walks. And it sets up Dominic Ramos. Did you take a charter to get here? It was one of those behind as Thompson steps up the mound and bluffs throwing a second. Surprising power. Last night hit a pitch fastball up and in and for a drive three run shot to left that accounted for the only offense. Right hander sets. The next pitch is inside. One ball and no strikes. Besides being a baseball fan, are there any other sports that you're intrigued about in the um, area? In, not in the area, but I am a um, Colts fan. The 1 0 is lifted foul. The right one ball, one strike. I'm sure Texans fans would not be too pleased about that. No, they here. wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't mention that here while I'm in the uh, out, out and about. Good riddance, Peyton Manning. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's in Denver, so they may play one time during the regular season and one time during the postseason. Mm -hmm. Maybe a problem between Denver and Houston this year. Yeah. The 1-1. One, one. Fastball away, two balls and a strike. The Bluefish, they came off of a victory yesterday. Did you notice anything about that particular game? It stood uh, out. It was a well-played game up till uh, the three-run home run, I think, in the eighth inning. Um, they, but they made it interesting in the end, and we prevailed. Certainly did. Pitches left in the air to left field. But it should be playable moving back and making the play. The corner out here, Kennard Jones, for the final out of the frame. The Bluefish escape without any further trouble. Actually, it was Joey Gathright in the outfield. The Bluefish are able to retire. Two runners left on at the end of five. The Bluefish are trailing one to nothing. Stay tuned. More updates from the Bluefish Broadcast Network right after the break. You're listening to Bluefish Baseball on Bridgeport Bluefish. Dot com. Buy with ratings and reviews. Or if your car breaks down, you can use the YP app to find the closest repair shop. Or maybe you're just looking for something to do on a Friday night. Well, it has great local coupons for all sorts of things in your area. No matter what, when, or where, if you're looking